Hi guys, this is Steve Parker. I wanted to share with you a method for removing fine scratches from your eyeglasses. I've had these for about three years and even starting six months after I got them I started noticing very fine tiny scratches and now three years later towards the bottom half of my glasses where I have close-up vision um, it got very frustrating for me and I was about ready to go to the optical shop and just get a whole new pair of glasses but I found a way to remove those scratches. It's important to note that the method that I'll tell you about today only works for plastic lenses that have additional coatings added towards the end of the manufacturing process. Now this applies to most glasses made today in the United States and probably a lot of the rest of the world also. There are very few glasses made these days with actual glass lenses, but if you have glass lenses, you cannot use this chemical method on them. So this method is used for plastic lenses that have additional coatings. If your lenses are polycarbonate, just know that polycarbonate is a kind of plastic. The kinds of coatings that are added towards the end of the manufacturing process include such things as blocking ultraviolet light, anti-reflective coatings, and even scratch-resistant coatings. These are the coatings that develop very fine scratches, and if we dissolve that coating, we'll get rid of the scratches and the coating. So let's get started. Here's a picture of the lens that is worst affected. I have what's called progressive lenses, and that means that the correction factor or prescription in the lower third of the lens allows me to see objects that are close up, say one or two feet away, whereas the prescription or correction factor in the upper two thirds of the lens allows me to see far in the distance. So you can see these very fine scratches in the lower third or so of the lens, and you can well imagine that, uh, you know, I, I, it looks like I'm looking through fog. I work 12 hour shifts at the hospital and at least half of my time is spent sitting in front of a computer screen which is about a foot and a half or two feet away. You can see here that both lenses are actually affected. The chemical compound I'm going to use to remove the fine scratches from my lenses is called Armor Etch. It's actually going to remove the coating that is scratched now you need to understand that this is a strong chemical compound it's potentially dangerous you don't want to breathe a lot of it in you don't want to get it on your skin or your eyes you should use safety goggles when you do this if you do it and you should wear rubber gloves and do it in a well ventilated area by carefully inspecting my lenses I could tell that the great majority of the scratches we're on the inner surface of the lens. That's the surface closest to my eyeball. So I'm going to apply the armor etch only to the inner surface of the lens. If I had significant scratches on both sides, I would apply the uh, product to both sides of the lens. I'm using a, a cotton-tipped swab, sometimes called a Q-tip, to apply the uh, armor etch just applying a relatively thick coating. I didn't see any need to rub it in. I'm just applying it, spreading it around. My frames are metallic and the lens is held into the metallic frame with what looks like a, a piece of nylon fishing line. Now I don't know if armor etch is, is safe to apply to anything besides the lens coating itself so I was careful only to apply the armor etch to the lens and I tried to avoid the metal and the nylon string. I suspect armor etch is safe if it gets on plastic frames but I'm not sure so you'd have to do your own research or simply be careful not to get armor etch on your plastic frames. After you apply the armor etch to all pertinent services You'll need to uh, set a timer or keep track of the time in, in, in some way, and you'll want to leave it on for five to seven minutes. Then you rinse it off with hot running water. 
I don't know if the temperature of the water really matters, but I used hot running water and it was not a problem and it worked well. Some of the other YouTubers talk about uh, needing a second application or needing to use the Q-tip to sort of scrub the lens surface. I didn't have to do that for my glasses. I was very pleased with the results of this process and I have no regrets whatsoever. However, I do need to tell you that I did notice driving my car at night I had increased glare from oncoming headlights. So one of the coatings I removed may have been an anti-glare or anti-reflective coating. Because of this glare issue, it's probably good that I only removed the coating from one side of my lenses. I have to admit I, ha I had some trepidation about doing this because I'm highly dependent on my eyeglasses and I was concerned that I might ruin these. So I did make sure that I had a prior pair of glasses I could use as a substitute in case these were ruined. The armor etch uh, rinse right off, no scrubbing required. We have unusually hot water here. Well, they're not ruined, I can tell you that much. Thank God. <laughs> so here's the before picture. And after. Before. And after. You can still see some residual scratches there, but I can't tell if they're on the inside or the outside of the lens. But when I'm wearing my glasses, I don't see them at all, so I'm not going to worry about them or retreat the glasses. I hope you found this video helpful, and I really hope that the scratch removal method saves you hundreds of dollars like it did for me. I have other videos regarding health, fitness, nutrition, weight loss and weight management. If you're interested in those topics, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called the PX Health YouTube channel. PX Health is one word spelled P-X-H-E-A-L-T-H. See you later.